Excuse me. Oh, you're excused. Would, would you do you like I me? I appreciate your excuses. Do you want to see through the thing anyway? Uh, we already started recording, so you can sing if oh. you want. Oh, riding mm. my pony. <laughs> pony. Is this cradle having pop songs stuck in her head? <laughs> and Eminem. And, well, for some yeah. reason. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Never mind, I can't sing that right now. <laughs> Well, how oh yeah, it? the first few minutes or whatever we yeah. have to behave ourselves. To behave a little more. Uh, behaving this party, I don't know, but I'm Andrew, your DM for the day, uh, along with this band of miscreants and murder hobos. We are the Dirty Rollers, and this this one right here, this campaign, this is the Frost Maiden campaign, because I phoned <laughs> the intro the last time and said it was the wrong Good campaign. Good job, Andy. Good I job. Know. See, I got it right. Good job. I did a good me. this time. <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Welcome back to everybody that's been keeping up with us and welcome to any new viewers. Um, we appreciate you guys uh, coming along with us and uh, enjoying our, our Frost Maiden campaign. Um, be sure you uh, hit the like button and hit subscribe so you don't miss out on any future videos from us uh, along with for uh, this campaign or the Mudbutt Goblins. Um, check the description down below in this video for a link to our society six shop or you can get um, t-shirts mugs hoodies blankets stickers some other things uh, that have the dirty rollers logo or the dice mimic or some mud butt goblins on them it all looks fantastic art by uh, chrissy and melissa uh, looks super good and it's a uh, it's kind of fun to have a little and james does james have it's he does. He does. I forgot. Right now, bad. yeah. I gotta put Seasters up there. I haven't done it Seasters yet. Seasters incoming. I'm sorry, James. Yes. It's all right. It's James's art. It's e. fun to have the the mud butt gabos uh, chilling on your mug. Yes. Yeah. Contemplating Eldritch blasting. <laughs> contemplating on how to turn a giant toenail into a shield. <laughs> Yep. <laughs> All the fun stuff. And also dealing 68 damage in one go. Yeah, who? The <laughs> goblins or Ursula? Goblins, that was weird. But, but also, yeah, that was, that was yeah. pretty... I, I, was, I was referencing... I was referencing... Shardo. Yeah, Shardo. Yeah. Because... Shardo, he Mr. Is, he, he is the cloaked figure of death in the campaign. He is. <laughs> the hooded ranged death. Um, and it's pretty cool. <laughs> Yes, it's yes. cool. <laughs> <laughs> yes. No, we deal with it. Um, I'm trying to think if there's anything else. Uh, so we got the the shop. Uh, yeah, for new viewers, um, there will be a, a description and a link for uh, the long form character intros, so you can get to know backgrounds and things, catch up a little bit, and um, learn uh, how they got started in on the Frost Maiden campaign. Um, I think the only thing I should probably say is the group is just uh, over leveled at the minute or at the moment that um, started as a homebrew campaign. So by the time we jumped in here, they were already like a fair bit past uh, where they should be for this uh, module. But I've been uh, modifying the adventure as we go, including some fun little things over here um, just to make things a little bit tougher. So it's not a complete cakewalk, but they are slowly catching up to where they should be for the level they're at in the module. Um, just thought it was more fun to let them keep um, enjoying their characters that they had for a while now, instead of having everyone roll up brand new characters. Uh, so yeah. I think that's it. Unless I forgot anything. And if I haven't, then um, why don't we introduce the players and your guys' characters right quick. I'm finding the art. There's some art. Art. Yes, there's the art. So, James, why don't you introduce us to who you are playing? I am James, and I play Giu. I am a monk of the four elements. Oops, that is not the spot that I wanted to use. There's Giu. Yay. <laughs> All right. Yay. Chrissy, who are you playing? Oh, I'm playing Ursula, the dragonborn warlock. Her patron is the great old one, and she has a pseudo dragon uh, named Hamo. And I was just thinking about the other things I have: uh, cheese, the ferret, and cow, the floating dragon skull. Oh, of Hamo's little vest. It's his little sweater. 
Hopefully you made him a little him. sweater. It's yeah. cold out here. Got to protect little dudes. <laughs> Gee, the knitting robot. It's so cool. Yeah. Melissa, who are you yeah. playing? I'm Melissa, and I am playing Cradle Jakili, the pink glassly. Gla- um, pink Welcome to my world. Of- <laughs> Way of Mercy Monk, and I am also piloting Igna Ragged Belt, mm. who is the male Manotar Barbarian. Uh, what? Wild, wild magic? magic? Wild Magic, yes. Wild Magic Barbarian. So, Melissa, this might have been up here. This, I mean, it has been up here this whole time because I don't think I've re uploaded it again. I just now saw something on your character art. And I don't know how I've missed this for this long. What? Can you guys see your art? Yeah. yeah. Go ahead and, and hit the magnifying glass and look at that that fist that she's got up front. Oh, <laughs> you never yeah. saw that? I've never noticed that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. When I was drawn, I was like, hey, do you want me to add like a knuckle tattoo that says butt on your knuckle? She's like, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, no e- e- either I asked her or most likely she asked me saying, hey, one more thing. If you can add this. I was like, oh, hell yeah. That's in the line art. Yeah. <laughs> I, no it, problem. I never <laughs> noticed that until just now. And that's fantastic. <laughs> well, so you can really get that tattooed on your neck. Yeah. I thought about getting mud butts. <laughs> yeah, mud butts. <laughs> that would be awesome. That's fantastic. And I love it. Uh, Jacob, who are you playing? I'm playing Tumpy, the Battle Rager. Sweet. He's got a little spikes coming through his beard. I'm 100% on board with everybody getting a mud butt tattoo. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we get uh, to explain to everyone who's like, what the... <laughs> what, what, what's a mud butt? Um, people that know me won't question it. <laughs> I guess that's <laughs> true. Sweet. Yeah, maybe not you. <laughs> and Garrow. I am Garen. I play Giro, a giant cat man, tabaxi bard, College of Swords. What's this weird thing on your crotch? That <laughs> is my magic codpiece of light. <laughs> it's magnificent. It will blind people. <laughs> codpiece. Yes. Brilliance. Yes, it's my brilliant codpiece. Don't look too close at my crotch. Your crotch. I'll blind piece. you. <laughs> I think that is all the character introductions. Uh, Sir James, might you yes. have uh, a quick little recap for us? Yes, I do. Uh, as we were still in combat uh, with uh, one uh, one Duragar left over from uh, the first onslaught, the monks and the barbarians started going up through uh, the northern section of hallways and uh, ran into two more Duragar. One of which was pummeled, then turned invisible. Another one launched a crossbow at a monk and learned, hey, not the best idea. And uh, yeah, uh, shortly after uh, the barbarians had dispatched uh, one of the, sorry, one of the, uh, Duragar and uh, Cradle had dispatched the one that was enlarged, and uh, they found a uh, little tunnel uh, beneath a latch, and I guess it might be uh, the beginning of an ex- of an extension of their uh, home turf. Uh, them just digging out uh, always, while uh, the other half, both. Uh, Ursula and uh, Garo and uh, their new orc friend Lug were uh, dealing with a few more Durgar coming from the south. Uh, I didn't necessarily see uh, see where they were coming from, but I can only imagine it was the south, maybe. And uh, and after a little bit, uh, Gu decided to travel back. Uh, through the hallways, dashed along and uh, caught up with Ursula and Tamo and went into the next room, uh, ready to keep an eye out for any dangers ahead. And uh, then uh, Spikes came up along a, a certain section of uh, this room and divided uh, Jiu and uh, 
Tamo from Ursula and uh, Garo, and there doesn't seem to be any uh, room to peek in to really see what's going on, except for what's going on with Giu and Tamo. And basically Ursula, because she can look through Tamo's eyes. Yep, yep. It's got this this fancy one here. They got some fun stuff in this room with uh, Giu, Tamo. Man, um, I, I feel so bad that they... I really want to just tell them, but damn it. Okay. Sorry. Oh, yeah. It's more fun. <laughs> yeah. right. You can see what they're missing out on. Go ahead, then James. I, tell us. Uh, just tell us. Tell us the secret, James. Possible, doing possible death. Possible death. Like... I'm afraid if I say any more in detail, I might incur the wrath of giant falling boulders out of nowhere. (laughs) Yes. Yeah. Invisible magic suddenly appearing psychic damage. Damn it. Giant invisible boulders. My one weakness. (laughs) (laughs) This robot's weak to boulders. All right. (laughs) We're going to start over here on the east side of the map. Tumpy. What are, you, what are you doing down in this tunnel, Tommy? Tumpy, Tumpy, Tumpy tunnel? <laughs> tunnel Tumpy. Just checking stuff out. Yeah. You have yeah. Uh, uh, 10, 20, 30. Because just a reminder, uh, the squares on this grid are all 10 foot squares. Um, <clears throat> so 30 feet ahead of you, you can see a uh, another ladder like the one behind you. Um, looks like it's set into the, the ice wall at the end. It's my turn. I'd like to head that way. Go up. Okay. You are in here, Tumpy. Is there anything in here? You see um, inside like a, a 12 foot tall. Um, it's like a bunker. Like you, you can see out in like Dwarven sensibilities. And this, this looks like just a like an uh, outside bunker of sorts, like little arrow slits in and small windows to look out of. Um, there is a, a heavy crossbow and a couple of uh, packs of bolts leaning against one wall. There's nothing I find important in there. Nope. Stool, table, and uh, so a crossbow and some bolts. I'll jump back down. Okay. Um, Cradle, uh, what are uh, what are you and Igna doing? And you're, yeah, you're right. You cannot see what Tumpy sees. Okay, I would assume that Igna would be following Tumpy wherever he's going. Mm-hmm. Igna uh, should have the should have the lantern on him. I think. Did he? I thought he just threw a torch on the ground. No, I think that I think that was either me or somebody else. But I remember Igna said that he had a lantern on his belt. I feel yeah. like I remember that too. Yeah, he does have a bullseye lantern. Yeah. Pretty sure a bullseye lantern. Whoops! Damn it! Why are you doing that? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, Tumpy, you'll be uh, heading back, and you see, um, Igna plop down into the tunnel and that's plodding towards you. And he's, he's having a stoop really low because this, this tunnel is only five foot high. Like it, you're uh, comfortable in it, Tumpy, but, uh, Igna is having to like squat down and Tumpy doing, doing the squat and hobble. Anything inside this tiny hole to murder. Yeah, there's nothing down there. Let's go back. Ah, shit. So he's going to back up with his horns, probably hitting the top of the tunnel. <laughs> Okay. They'd be scraping. Tumpy, I'm putting you back over here too. All right. What's Cradle doing? Uh, she was just waiting for them to come back, basically. All right. Keep um, them watch. Ursula. <laughs> Having watched the spikes come from the floor and the ceiling and close off the rooms and completely separate you from Tamo, what do you do? Oh my god. Um, I imagine Ursula is freaking out a bit. She's like banging on the the spikes. She's like, Tamu! Tamu! Jeez in there! And she's trying to figure out if the bars can be... I don't know. 
moved in some way. Um, are these like iron bars, I assume? Um, yep. Iron spikes. Um, are we still in the initiative turn order? Or are uh, we out of initiative? Not for this beginning stuff we're doing. Okay. Um, and you said you can't see through the bars, right? So that was a mistake. You can see through little slits between them. Um, but they aren't big enough for even Temo to slip through. Mm-hmm. I misread a spot in the last, uh, last session, last episode. You can see through the gaps between the spikes, but the, the gaps are not big enough for a character to slip through. So if I was to dragon breath acid on these, would any of that come through the bars at all? Uh, yeah, it would, it would go through. I mean, not, not all of it, but some of it is going to go through. Yeah. Could I, um, tell Tamo to like fly over here? Yeah. She's going to have him take cover and then can she try to position myself? I guess I could do it from back here, actually. And could I use my breath weapon to try and melt? Maybe melt. I don't know if it'll work. Acid breath the bars. Sure. Doing it in darkness. I don't need to see. I just got to spit in front of me. (laughs) I guess it's not total darkness, but it's darkness. Oh, you you might want to spit in front of you. Or uh, you might want to see before you spit in front of you, I mean. Yeah, it looks like cheese is right in front of you. (laughs) (laughs) I actually can't see any of them. Um, Yeah, it's because you don't have dark vision and those two don't grant you vision. I'll assume that they would stick close to you. Yeah, I can't move them because I don't know where they're at. It would have been mighty hilarious if I let you, you know, breathe acid all over the two of them. Well, I can't. They're supposed to be, you know, like with me, not, you know, on the ground in front of me, but I can't see them at all. Cheese the ferret is not a familiar. It's a little friend that, that, you know, she befriended an actual creature, not a not a little spirit that's taking the form of her pseudo dragon as a Temo. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. But yes. Anyway, um, yes, I'm. I guess Ursula is going to vomit some acid all over. It technically goes thirty. It's a thirty foot line. It's a five by thirty foot line. Okay. I don't know what that means if I'm spitting on bars or if any of it is going to come through or what. So you'll really have to pick whether you want the top set of bars or bottom set of bars. Your line is not going to hit both sets. Yeah, I figured that. Okay. So I, I also wasn't sure if I should do the top one because I don't want to hit GU. Okay, so you're going to spit towards the bottom one? Yep. All right. So I believe it's normally a reflex save, which these things are going to fail automatically since they don't have reflexes. Um, so go ahead and roll your acid damage for it. Acid damage? You go... <laughs> Ooh, this, this is what what Ursula sounds like when she breathes acid. Yeah, <laughs> like a big vomiting sound, and acid goes flying that everywhere. Fucking terrible! But okay. <laughs> <laughs> Ursula's got indigestion really bad. She gets really upset when something happens with Tamo. She's like, got GERD and acid reflux and everything. It's kind of imagine like Stan on South Park. <laughs> yes, er, early South Park. Yes. <laughs> okay. Um. So you can hear the sizzle. You can't really see, but you can hear the sizzle and the splash. The acid hits the uh, the spikes. Um. Like I said, one set coming from the ceiling, one set coming from the uh, the floor, and they're kind of making like interlocking, like an interlocking barrier there. Um. So they they take all twelve of the damage, and you can see where parts of them are starting to just melt. But for the most part, they're there. They're they're enough to still be a, a hindrance. Mm-hmm. So the bars, do the bars look like they're 
like melting or anything yet? Yeah, they do. Okay. I didn't know if you meant the people behind it when you said them or if you meant the bar. Nope, the bars. Okay. Um, I forget. Your breath doesn't do like ongoing damage or anything, right? I don't feel I don't like there's not think much of that in so. D&D. No. Okay. All right. Um, Garo, you hear this awful sound right next to you. Whoops. I didn't mean to move your character. Sorry. Uh, and uh, you can also see Ursula just vomit forth a stream of uh, stream of acid at something. Ooh, gross. That is, that's, <laughs> that's disgusting. Are you OK? What did you eat? She's going to whip her out and point at the bars. And she's going to say, Temo and Gu, they're in there. They're in there. Oh, they're God, locked what? in there. She's like, why did panicking. you puke on the bars? I'm trying to melt them. We got to get in there. We got to help them. <laughs> <laughs> uh, g- can I hit the bars now? Are they weakened by your vomit? Is that why you did that? <laughs> <laughs> I, I think they are. Yes, I think. So, Gero, yeah, you can you have dark vision like you can see that they're they're starting to melt like they are not whole anymore. Uh, OK. Um, there's still can... there's still enough of them to be interlocking, but you can see where like some of them are starting to lose their integrity. OK, I guess I'll run up to them. Uh, um, I'm going to peek inside real quick. What do I see inside? Um, you know, I think the best way to do this is probably just, oh, (laughs) you can see that. Okay. Oh, crap. (laughs) There you go. Lug, get over here. Help me bash these, uh, bash these, uh, iron spikes in. I'm going to start kicking at the the bars. (laughs) Lug's good at bashing. (laughs) <laughs> uh, except he sees Ursula there and he kind of gives her a wide berth <laughs> <laughs> no no come on it's okay. she's nice alright lug bash lug bash alright he'll start beating on these uh, are you as well can we do it yeah can we do it together so like I could help him or yeah. so uh, we'll see what happens there in a minute uh, Gu inside here you start hearing some uh some beating and yelling on the other side of the, the spikes that made this wall here. Um, you're going to have at least a turn by yourself. So mm-hmm. what would you like to do in here? Well, all right. From the angle of Matt, am I within reach of this guy right here? Or would I, or yeah, absolutely. Okay. Well, uh, I'll be willing to take the attack of opportunity. Boom, boom, boom. Oh, hold on. Let me, now, where's Alt? There it is. There we go. And I'm going to uh, unleash all hell on big guy here. Oh. Okay. So, uh, okay. So, son of a bitch. Excuse me. <laughs> all righty. All right. So, I'm going to spend... Damn it. I apologize. It's taking a second. It's been a minute. Um, mm-hmm. uh, where the hell is it? All right. Actually, hold on. Oops. <laughs> I, uh, I would actually probably stay right there because I'd be with him. Like, this will give me 10 foot reach. So, also, would this guy get an attack of opportunity on me? Yeah, he will in just a second here. Uh, All righty. I'm changing up the thing. Okay. Um, I forgot to do something a little bit ago. I'm taking advantage of it right now. Okay. So you're taking an attack of opportunity from this guy here. Yes, um, indeed. Let's see. Uh, that misses you and your ridiculous high AC. Um, and now what are you doing? And, uh, I'm going to spend, uh, where the hell am I at, buddy boy? All right. So I'm going to spend 
two key points to uh, cast uh, Fist of the Fire Snake. So I'm going to uh, make two punch attacks against the big guy here from a, a small distance away within 10 feet of me. Mm-hmm. All right. Uh, which dice do I feel lucky with? You clusters. Okay, I'll take the red ones right now. That's the one I can beat on it. There it is. All right. All right, so 28 to hit. No, wait, uh, 27 to hit. Sorry. The first punch. 27 will hit. Yep. Then the second punch would be uh, 17 to hit. Uh, 17 hits. I'm ready. And uh, I'm going to bonus action cast another key point. So that's three right there. Well, it's just got to keep down. To uh, cast Flurry of Blows to do two more punches okay. against uh, Big Boy. Uh, 22 to hit. Hits. And uh, uh, 15 to hit for the last one. 15 misses. Okay. All right. So uh, the first hit would be nine fire damage for the first punch. Okay. Second punch would be seven fire damage for the second. Okay. Then for the third, uh, 10 fire damage. And then I roll an extra 2d10 for those extra key points I spent earlier. Five fire damage. One, 10 fire damage. Damn. Pumping out the damage. Okay. Yep. So... Yeah, your your fist to the fire snake here. You just uh, just unleash on him, just pummel him and all over his face. Couple body shots in there, uh, for a grand total of what do we got? 10, 20, 36, 41 damage in one round. Ooh. All right. Very nice. Very nice. Wow. So, uh, you do that. Um. This guy is going to stay where he's at. This top one. Um, uh, I need you to make a con save, please. All righty. Con mm-hmm. save. Uh, screw it. We'll do digital for this one. Whole shebang. The oven. All right. That is a fail. Yes. Um, you. The thing is, it, like, it's laughing at you, and it it kind of like puckers its lips up, and a stream of amber colored fluid comes smashing against you. Mm-hmm. Um, let's see. That's called a pucker and pee. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you take. Oh, that's sad. You take three poison damage. Oh, is this poison? You yep. said? Hold on. I do have advantage against uh, saves against poison. No, the, the save wasn't against poison. The save was a con oh. save. Oh. Um, All right. You just so you ha- take the poison and oh, okay. you are poisoned for one minute. I am resistant. So how much, how much did you say altogether for right now? It was three. So you take one. All right. One poison damage, but you're poisoned for a minute, which gives you disadvantage on. You know, I gotta find it. That did. I, th- I think it's on attacks and uh, saves. I think attacks and saves your ability. I, I I might be wrong, but uh, uh, disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. There we go. Okay, cool. And we're gonna put this on you to remind. This is how I remind you. Uh, what is this one? Broken Skull. Maybe that's not the best one. I swear I have another token pack that has more stuff in it. It's a little easier to see what it does. We'll do that. You're poisoned. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> is there a better one? Oh, there we go. There we go. They don't have just a skull and crossbones or anything. Uh, wait. Yep, yeah, you're right. 
Gold. They're harder to see on the there on the uh, dark mode ones. Like they change what the background looks like for them. So oh. I have a harder time finding them. Um, but I do appreciate dark mode saving my eyeballs. Yes, me too. Uh, oh, yeah. This one down here tucks its arms and legs in, uh, lays long ways, and rolls at you. Yep. Oh no. That's all right. Um, let's see if it moves at least 15 feet straight towards you and then hits a slam. So it's going to try to make a slam attack on you. Probably going to miss. Uh, yeah, that misses. Okay. Um, that's their turns. Um, now I need one, two, three, four, counting Temo, five with Lug. I need all you guys to make... Uh, 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 rolls for initiative, please. <gasps> yeah. Initiative. Always poop. What the hell is going on in there? There's so much noise. Tumpy's not there. Igna's not there. And... Cradle's not there. These ale barrels are bad. They're rotten. I wouldn't drink it. <laughs> Yeah. Look Can I eat them? <laughs> I wouldn't recommend teeth. Fifteen for oh yeah. Or wait, I said Igna. Igna does not need initiative. My bad if I said that. Oh, I don't need to make an initiative roll. Wait, why did it put you guys all in there? Uh, shouldn't Sorry, be. I was putting baby supplies away. I didn't hear if I was part of that or not. Tumpy shouldn't be part of this either. What happened? Oh, maybe I can just put you guys in a zero. Zero, zero. Ursula was... A two. One or something. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Tumpy zero says he's not there. G U. Um, oh, so you do you need me to roll? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. All right. Sorry about that. Garen was tiny. Uh, nineteen. I can hear you, Jake. All right. Nineteen. Yeah, that two is more like it, Chrissy. Yep. My initiatives almost always are low, low, yeah, the, low. Those natural 20s in the, the last game. Okay. <laughs> Two in a row. It's so unlike you. So It is. <laughs> truly is. <laughs> back, back over to the east. Um, what are you three doing? I imagine we're clamoring back out of that hole. <laughs> <laughs> like, huh, we should probably <laughs> see where everyone else is. <laughs> I'm just sitting here eating these delicious Dots homemade pretzels. <laughs> flavor. <laughs> Tubby, I don't think right now is the time to eat pretzels. We should go see where everyone is. <laughs> and everyone's addicted to those goddamn pretzels now. Yeah. Can I hear anything going on? Uh, no. <laughs> you couldn't hear Ursula screeching? No. This is technically like up some stairs, down quite a ways. 10, mm. 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. Oh, yeah, that's fine. 1, 10, 40, <laughs> 50, 40, 50 uh, 60, 70, 80, 90. Like 200 feet away, down some corridors, up some stairs. Yeah. Cradle is in insecure. Sorry, go ahead, Jake. You're fine, go. Um, <laughs> Cradle is insecure without uh, either Ursula or GU close by, so she'd probably go bust an ass to see where everybody is, just out of curiosity. Um, so she will dash. <laughs> and I don't. I would think Igna would follow whatever Tuppy's going to do if we're going to loot bodies or um, I don't know. What's Tumpy going to do? 
Since I don't hear anything, I will walk back, but I'll just normal speed. I'll check all the rooms, see if anything catches my eye. Tumpy's in no hurry. Back. Igno would probably do the same, be like, Tumpy, wasn't that great murdering the things? <laughs> I'm sorry, Matt. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Are you guys searching as you go, or are you just looking for loose shit? Oh, sorry, Jake. God damn it. <laughs> I tried to... <laughs> I'm not searching hard. If anything catches my eye as I'm walking, yeah, I'll stop, but I'll just start. All right. So you, you kind of already looked in here. I don't know why this guy's health is still there. It shouldn't be. Um, you looked in this room. You saw that there was a, like the, the couple of um, suits of dwarven scale mail, um, some war picks, the mess kits, the what else did I say was in there? Some other kit. Um Mess kits. Climbing kits. Oh yeah, two climbers kits. <clears throat> uh, steel shields, jav ones. That's all you really see in there. Uh, the crossbow one. He's got the the heavy crossbow was on the floor. Um, then they have their their war picks. Um, so yeah, you don't really see anything stands out to you there. I'll just keep moving. Okay. And you want your your max move in this one? I guess. Unless you want to dash, I suppose. I'm, I'm not dashing. You said okay. two climber kits? Yeah. Igna's going to grab those. Okay. One for me and one for my... Uh, <clears throat> <laughs> 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 yeah, I guess, I guess I would have a hard time maybe climbing on ice with hooves. So that might be helpful. Just wrap your leg. <laughs> wrap it. <laughs> Jeez. <laughs> Back over here on initiative. Uh, G. All right. So I'm feeling a little. This is weird. <clears throat> okay. All right. Well, since little dude right here. Mm, hold on. <laughs> yeah, I'm going to just uh, kind of steady myself with my staff for a minute. I'm just going to thwack a little dude right next to me with the, the staff two times. Okay. <laughs> that would with be disadvantage. Yeah, that fan art would be fantastic and I want it. Wait. <laughs> oh, I'm going to have it done by tonight. <laughs> <laughs> yes, not, please. I mean, yes, please, but also that's not fan art. I, I would love to see uh, other other takes on it as well, or an oh, animation. Okay. Even. Uh, okay, so I can't be a fan, huh? Yeah, why can't he be a fan? <laughs> no, right, no problem. Fan. So, so how about some non-player fan art? Okay, I'm glad okay. you guys are fans. We're gonna get all the dick art. <laughs> all so, right, so what, what about like an animation <laughs> of the Attack on Titan? Do, 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 do. And it's it's Tumpy <laughs> swinging around. <laughs> oh God! Look at my penis. Look at my penis. <laughs> All right. First, first Tumpy. I meant Igna. First attack. Tumpy might be swinging around on it. <laughs> I miss. I miss with that first attack. Oh. Yeah. So then the second hit. Roll. Uh, that misses. Still pretty bad. And, no, uh, it doesn't bonus. apply. That actually hits. That one actually hit? That one hits. You're, you're swinging for the little guy, right? Yeah. Okay, yeah. That one hits. Yeah. Okay. So, let me roll the damage on that. I was two hand in this one. Uh, ten, uh, ten, ten bludgeoning for uh, that hit. Okay. And I'm just going to bonus action punch once. Where's my unarmed strike? There it is. Okay. Rolling... Disadvantage now. Uh, 14. Uh, 14 hits. Alrighty, so that would be uh, 11 bludgeoning. Alright, so how much total on this one? 
Oh, uh, so the first one was what? Ten or no? Wait, no, nine. Was it nine bludgeoning or ten bludgeoning? I lost count. Shit. Uh, I actually asked you because I lost track when I looked at your two hit and it said eleven. Okay, yeah, yeah. To hit, I think I rolled an, a nine bludgeoning. I think, and then the second one was an eleven bludgeoning. Okay, so we got twenty all together. Yeah. All right, so yeah, the big, the first one, you wind up in two hands, swing across with your staff, and it, its legs disappear in its body, and it drops down to the floor, and you go way wide over top of it, yep. and its its heads pop back, or its head, its uh, legs pop back out of the sides. It goes to stand back up. You crank it in the face, and then punch it in the other cheek. It's still up. Yep. Um, surprisingly solid. All right. Then we've got Lug. So Lug can make an attack against the spikes. They do have their own stats. So you have to make a normal... Oh, yeah. That's me. <laughs> I was thinking Garen was in charge. <laughs> uh, let's see. Lug has to make a normal attack. It's his axe. And Lug rolled a natural one. Lug is oh. not doing a damn thing. Oh, <laughs> oh. Lug. Lug. How do you miss a non a, a fucking station? No. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> How do you miss that? It's right in front of your face. Not so much else? that <laughs> he misses as much as his attack is pitiful and just, you know, maybe he has the, the head of the axe like tilted downwards and it just kind of scrapes along the bars instead of doing any meaningful damage to it. Um, okay. Yes. The attack oh, is sorry. useless, is what it means. Lug, that is embarrassing. It's, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, okay. Mr. Mr. Guy. Um, this dude here. Yeah, it is his turn. Double checking. Um, Does it look like I broke his nose with that first few hits? Uh, you, you left burn marks on him for sure. Like you, you, you've seen him like while you were fighting the the other thing there. He's like patting out his beard. Uh, <laughs> his, his mutton chops there. Um, but uh, see, he... In one hand, uh, he's got his... Uh, like a a pick like the rest of them, but his is nice and like fancy looking. Um, wow. And wow. you can see on his <laughs> other hand, he's wielding a dagger sized piece of like a dark gray looking crystal. Oh, hello. Um, and he says, uh, You'll not interrupt me. I'll make my father proud. And he takes a swing with his axe, or his war pick, rather. Um, 11 misses the first one. You don't need to make your father proud. You just need to make yourself proud. Uh, second one. Oh. 22. Does 22 hit you? That just hits. Okay. So. <laughs> <laughs> you just have to make yourself proud. 13 damage from yeah. the war pick. Right. 13. All right. You can hear him like mutter something under his breath. Like he, he mutters a, like a single word, but you're not, you don't really know like what it means. You're not really sure you understand it, but it sounds like he's saying uh, Shardlin. This is Charlotte. Like he's mumbling, like mumble whispering that word over and over. Chardling? Chardlin. Chardlin? Chardlin. Chardlin. Okay. No. Chard. Chardlin. Chardlin. <laughs> oh, wait, wait. This is this book has I think it has uh, pronunciation. Yeah. Um, Chardolin. 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 
Yeah. <laughs> where, where, are, right. where are the rides? Garrow, it's your turn. <laughs> okay. Um, so I guess it's probably smarter for me because I was going to kick the bars in. But and Lug hit it with his weapon. And you said it has, so it has like uh, kind of like hit points on it, I guess. Yeah, it's got its own set of stats. Okay, so I guess it'd be better for me to just do a whirling blender of scimitars on it, right? Yeah. Than to actually kick it. Okay. I mean, it doesn't matter either. Mm. But You're going to have to roll either way. Okay. Yeah, I guess I'll... All right, watch this lug. And I'll just do a flurry of scimitar attacks on it. Okay. Uh, first one. I have to roll to hit it? Yeah. Oh. Okay. I think I hit it, right? 25 bonks it pretty good. I hope so. <laughs> first six, six damage. And then I hit it with the other one. Hope that hits it. That also hits it. <laughs> Sorry. Six more damage. So for anyone then, who doesn't know, that was uh, Melissa trying to burp and failing miserably. Yeah. <laughs> I can't yeah. Burp. But okay. she can fart like no other. That's true. <laughs> 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 All right. So and then I'll use my bonus hits. action to do another hit on it if, right. they, if they aren't busted in yet. Go ahead and roll it. Yeah. All right, 12, uh, 20, 20 damage to him. That, that'll do it. So you, you hack away at it and logs like, you know, kind of not being super helpful, but he thinks he is. He's trying to be, <laughs> um, you you whack the shit out of him and the, uh, the weakening that, um, Ursula's acid has done to it allows you to finish like cracking them free. And then the spikes that you guys have been hacking at just burst inwards towards the building. And you, you hear like the large voice, uh, come from just beyond the, um, uh, just beyond where the like wall spiked wall was. Yeah. Oh, uh, like some kind of questioning thing. It's <laughs> showered and <laughs> bits of spikes. Uh, we did it. Log. We did it. All right. And so, that is my turn. So, all right, this guy up here. Uh, he does the same thing the last one did. Gu, he tucks his arm and legs, rolls long ways, and comes slamming into you. Barrel uh, roll. Um, he did a barrel roll. Do a barrel. Eighteen to hit you is going to miss. Uh, the second guy just. Tries to pummel you with his fist. It's like iron bound wrapped fist. Wow. Uh, he also misses. Ursula. Oh my god. <laughs> um, let's see. So I can't fit by that door. Um. Whoops. You can so fit through there. Between Garen and yeah, you, Lug? you, yeah, you, you can fit in between them. You can't stop there, but you can fit in and go, like, go between. Yeah, I don't take up a full five foot square. Um, right? Yeah, but I don't really want to stand like here. <laughs> Get so in I think there. it's probably probably better if I go up like here. Some well, crap, I'm trying to position myself. Yeah, I can see everybody from like here, right? Oh, did I? One second. Oh, yeah, I wasn't supposed to get rid of the top one. Sorry. They only broke the bottom ones. Oh, duh, right. Right, that's right. No, that's my fault because I moved the, the top barrier out. I should not have. Could you sit on the line, like right here? I don't know. Can I do that? I like squish myself in between them. We're like, damn it, damn it. We're like squeeze in there. What are you trying to do? Like, you're not trying to run past, right? I don't want to go in the room, but I want to look in the room. So like, I want to be able to, basically, I want to be able to shoot something in you the room. Sit here and shoot between them. I Where mean, I'm at right now. 
Yeah. So a natural one is not going to be good. But, you know, you can still fire stuff around them. Okay. So I guess Ursula's going to be like, Tamu! She's going to scream with uh, Tamu. And uh, let's see. So she can see. She probably cannot see the big dude, huh? Um, no, you can see him. He's large. Can I? He's a large boy. Um, which which keg boy looks the most messed up? Well, it's kind of hard to tell because of what they look like. Huh. Okay. You don't see blood or anything. I guess I was thinking of like splintered wood or something. Um, maybe I'll just. I mean, maybe some dents, but they're pretty like stout little things. So th- this bottom one here looks like it's taken some amount of abuse. Um, first, well, I think go for this keg boy here first with an eldritch blast. Okay. Whoops. 16? 16 hits. Yeah. First beam. Ugh. Ugh. Good as up. Seven? East. Okay. Seven damage. And your next beam? Next one. Next fire zone. 14? That'll hit. Sweet. Yeah. Fourteen. Yeah. Eldritch yeah. ferrets. Eldritch okay. ferrets. So the rescue. Garrow and Lug see like a, a pair of, what color are your, your beams? Hmm. I think before they were were they like the purplish um Issa colors? Like purple black? Yeah, weren't that wasn't that what they were when I think they changed color when, you know, she got in contact with Issa to like the purpley black thing. Okay. So yeah, uh, Garrow and Lug see a pair of the purpley black um, ferret beams go like bouncing and they're kind of like wavy ferret bouncing this nature. <laughs> <laughs> they slime into the, the thing in there that GU's fighting and actually looks like it, it does a pretty good chunk of damage to it. It's like, Buckles down on one leg, stands back up facing GU. Um, mm. Anything else for you? Um, I think I think that's it for me because Temo gets his own turn. He was added to the thing, right? Uh, no, false. I forgot him. I just suddenly remembered. I think he rolled higher than me for initiative. Oops, I forgot to put him in here. Uh, seven. AC was 13, I think. Speed was 60. Initiative. Temo initiative was... Four. Alright, so yeah, you can do something with Temo if you'd like, because I forgot to have him, have him in here. Um, If he flies out of the room, mm-hmm. does he get... Does anybody have opportunity attack or anything like that? The big guy will. The big guy with the K guys don't? Right. They're Whoops. short. Oh, happened. I moved him. Just oh, like oh, okay. I thought my thing messed up again because it does all kinds of weird poopies. Okay. Well, if that's... I don't know if he could... I don't know. I'm afraid he won't survive an opportunity attack. Maybe I'll just have him... If you have him fly straight through like that, he'll get one. If so What if go, he goes, like, to this corner Yeah, and then, then, like, out this way? He can't get through the top part. I meant the bottom part. I can't move with the stupid arrow keys or I would have shown you more, obviously, but... Uh, 10, 20, so 30. He can hang out here. He has oh, wait, he has 60. Fly. Okay, yeah. I forget he had 60. Ammo, come on, quick! <laughs> You gonna zip by everybody? <laughs> okay, he's back out. 
She hugs Tamo. Oh, hey, you're Tamo. safe. You're safe. It's like petting him. <laughs> oh, no, a part, a part of his sweater got caught on the spikes. He's no. unraveling. <laughs> no, no. You want to destroy my sweater. No. 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 <laughs> no. <laughs> Terrible. <laughs> oh, if these guys fucked up the sweater, G's gonna murder everybody. Oh, yeah. I He's spent so three bad. nights on that thing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, now you guys have done it. <laughs> <laughs> that was made with love. <laughs> now I shall disassemble you with all hatred. And now <laughs> you must die. <laughs> you must so great die. to see you. You must die. You must die. <laughs> Okay, uh, so <laughs> Tamo's back safe. He's not doing anything else, right? Nah, that's the end. Of- okay. Um, oh, uh, Giu, uh, I need you to make a con save against the poison, which you do have advantage with, right? Yes. Okay. All right, so advantage. Uh, 20, dirty 20. That'll do her. Uh, You can't poison my boy. No more poison. All right. Uh, Cradle. (laughs) Hi. Okay. I would think she's still just going to be booking it. Booking it. Booking it. (laughs) That's a book. Dirty. Oh, that's a book. Sixty. (laughs) Meh. <laughs> Owned by the goats. <laughs> well, I guess I can make sure you them. make the goat noise as you go by them. <laughs> I did. I was, I was talking to them. Yeah. <laughs> um. So I guess I can see a little bit now. Yep. Oh, Ursula, I will come and help thee. But I'm I'm too far away at the moment. <laughs> <clears throat> She's like, I hear the pink stinky one. <laughs> <laughs> Cradle pink stinky jacuzzi. <laughs> so pink stinky has gone as far as she can for now. <laughs> pinky stinky, right. geez, Louise. I feel like that's not a name that she's going to want for long, but. Um, so you can see like some, some. I don't know. Like you, you see Ursula with her menagerie in the back. You can see Garrow and Log. It looks like they're they're just finishing up, like beating on some pieces of metal on a door or a doorway, rather. And like beyond them, you, you catch little glimpses of what looks like a barrel with arms and legs. Oh, it's <gasps> weird sight. Devil worshippers! Devil worshippers attacking my sensei! <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, oh, oh, my God. God. <laughs> oh, what's Igna doing? Igna's probably just literally walking at the moment, not knowing anything's happening, because he can't hear anything from there, can he? Correct. What do you have heard, Pinky Stanky? Did I roll perception for him? Just logged running? It's not really... Sure unusual or angry form. snorting seeing what's going on <laughs> yeah you can roll perception at disadvantage for him okay show me oh he's this is oh oh 15 plus 2 so 17 that's a disadvantage. Uh, 17. Yeah, he, he can hear Pink Stinky running away. <laughs> Huzzah! <laughs> um, like yeah. enough to think that he should hurry or no? Um, like she took off in a hurry, but I don't know. I don't know what, what Igna would think about. Well, oh, she's kind of dumb. I will just take my time walking down this hallway. <laughs> Move. That sounds right. Sorry, Matt. And <laughs> uh, um, 17, I'll say when you, you go to walk by this one, you can see like a, a fair size coin purse on the body of this uh, door girl. Oh, hey. Making it rain. Can I grab it? Yeah. Okay. 
no. Um, for Matt to add to his inventory. The uh, twelve gold mm. and. Uh, oh, uh, twelve gold and four small gray crystals. Mm-hmm. Smoky cord. Oh, smoky They're cord. Almost the size of a gold piece. <laughs> They're very tiny. Let Matt know that he now has a sack. Okay. Uh, Tumpy. Same thing I've been doing. All right. You can see Is there anything else in this room. Uh, you come in in time to see Igna uh, taking the, the coin purse off this guy. Um, let's see, it's a mostly empty room. Uh, snow in the corners from the barred windows. Um, Frost covered uh, walls and things, but you don't see uh, like anything useful in here now. Can I hear anything when I get this far? Uh, go ahead and make a perception check at disadvantage like I had uh, Igna do. Listen, Inky Stan. You hear not a damn thing. All right. All right. And then we go to Giu. All righty. Feeling that that uh, weird effect has worn off on me, I'm going to look at both the barrels real quick. And I'm going to give one and two a single uh, thwack with the staff each. Thwack, thwack. Okay. Alrighty. Alrighty, so... Do... Uh, 15 for the first one. Hit. And let me roll the damage on that guy real quick. Which one are you hitting first, top or bottom? The top one. Okay. 11 bludgeoning for that guy. Blam! And I'm going to hit the guy on the bottom now. Some wood on another action. With with another thwack. Uh, I'm going to say that one misses. I rolled a two. So plus everything, I'd be just on 10. Nope. That does not hit. Wait, hold on. I might have missed. No, wait, no. 11. Would 11 hit or no? 11 does hit. Shit. I keep forgetting about the plus one on the Skyblinder staff. Mm. I keep thinking it's eight. <laughs> uh, fine. Eight bludgeoning for uh, the guy on the bottom. All right. <laughs> so you you smash the one on the bottom across the face, and you hear, and all of his legs get pulled back in, and <laughs> the, the barrel goes rolling back towards Lug. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna bonus action just <laughs> just a bonus action punch this guy just I, like, I like the James reaction there hmm. huh yeah huh. <laughs> all right go ahead and make an attack against the top one uh, uh 21 to hit uh 21 yeah Nine damage, nine bludgeoning damage for the top guy. Nine bludgeoning. All right. Crash it down on top of him. You see a little couple little like pieces of wood go flying off from the top. And uh hmm. Never mind. Yeah, that that that's all there is. I'm not gonna do any moving. Okay. Um let's see. It's not in there. Let's see if I can show you guys what this is. And Jake's the last one that has not seen him, I suppose. I think. I should have dropped him in here earlier. Um, where'd he go? 
and pause for a commercial timeout while I upload this as a handout. Oh, commercial timeout, you say? No. Oh, Caesar no. loves commercial timeout. So this hey, is what, viewers. No, my oh, God. God. <laughs> These are what the things. Home style pretzels. <laughs> <laughs> That's going to be one of our sponsors, right? You know, it's God, God, I hope home. so. <laughs> Dot pretzels. My wallet hopes so. Goddamn expensive pretzels. What kind of flavors do they add? Uh, original honey bar or honey mustard and southwestern. The southwestern, Ooh, southwestern. is real good, and the so is the honey. Is the problem is, I think all of Jake's work buddies are buying them all. I and think they are too. They're disappearing <laughs> from the stores. <laughs> they are. <laughs> oh my god! And they they really disappeared after I started, uh, or after Jake introduced them. <laughs> is that a, a barrel dwarf? Is barrel dwarf? It's like a wooden plank beard. Yeah, that's not underwear. <laughs> a plank beard. You're wondering if it was like a loincloth. I I really love the design. Can we trade our orc for that guy? <laughs> <laughs> uh, you you almost did um, on accident. You know, <laughs> that. Um, okay. Look, quickly stab that thing! Stab that that dwarf barrel. So, G, you were all done, right? <laughs> yeah. Okay. Uh, Lug's turn. Lug will stab it. Who's going to try to stab it? The, the <laughs> empty barrel that just rolled up next to him. Well, yeah, it's not, not, not empty, but uh, it looks dead. Uh, orc. Come here, Orc. No. What happened? What did you do? My encounter broke for a second. Okay. Uh, stab it in the butt. Maybe it will produce ale. Oh, uh, yeah. He rolls uh, 11, which would hit. Um, he stabs it in the bunghole, and it starts leaking <laughs> ale. <laughs> Excellent. Just jams down with the butt end of his axe and stabs it. And the thing was already dead, but now it's leaking ale. <laughs> I wouldn't drink it. It doesn't make you feel too good. <laughs> ale, no. Uh, <laughs> uh, <laughs> ooh, ooh. <Yay. laughs> All right, the big one comes over here, and War picks you. He like he swings it horizontal this first time. Yep. Um, oh, that's a natural one. Uh, you duck and hit. Might hit the keg. I roll again. Wow, he rolled two natural ones back to back. Taken <laughs> after Ursula. All right, so oh, he misses no. both of you guys. Um, and then he takes a second attack on you, GU. Mm -hmm. uh, that's 22 to hit. That just hits. All right. Rocking. Um, <laughs> 4, 16, 17 damage with the war pick. As he 17. takes his frustration out on you. There we go. My God, they hit GU. That I thought that was impossible. <laughs> I did too. Uh, Nothing's <laughs> impossible. <laughs> so yeah, you can see him. He brings it back around. If it lands into you, he puts his boot on you and pulls the war pick back out of your your little wee robot body. And and I'm just oh. saying, you don't need to make your father proud. You just need to be proud of yourself. <laughs> 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 just to see what happens. <laughs> no, I don't know. Father will share his power with me, and he's he's like digging that that crystal like more into his hand, like he's gripping it harder. Hmm. Hmm. Um. He does not have that much. He took this damage. There we go. When I lost the encounter for a second, I reset the damage. Um. 20. There we go. All right. Um, that was his turn. Garo. Garo the Bard. Okay. As I peek my head underneath the spikes, uh, I look at that uh, giant dwarf. What kind of armor is he wearing? Um, this is a fancier looking scale like the rest of them. Or, you know, I like could scale like the rest of them, just like <laughs> well, a little, little fancier, a little more polished. There's some, some extra like... I don't know. 
you get the idea that this is the, if not the leader of the whole place, at least the leader of the ones that you've come across so far. Okay. Just some fancier looking scale mail. Okay, I'm going to point my scimitar at him from underneath the, underneath the spikes. And then I'm going to basically have a, produce a flame from the tip of my finger like it's a lighter. Mm-hmm. And then I'm going to wave it underneath my scimitar like I'm heating my scimitar but pointing it at him. Mm-hmm. And see where you're going. As, I'm, as I'm doing that, I'm basically casting heat metal Yes. Uh, at level three on him. Ooh. <laughs> so he's got to take a, what is it? Concert? Con- uh, yep, concentration. Oh, wait, no. What is it? Where's the con? I believe it's a con save. Then I don't see it. I think it's a, con- like, do you do a con save if you're trying to make him drop a weapon that's made out of metal? Because, like, if you're just targeting the armor, um, I, I, don't, I don't know the rules on that one. Let's see. If a creature's holding or wearing the object, takes the from it. The creature must succeed on a con saving throw or drop the object if it can. If it doesn't drop the object, it has disadvantage. Okay. Um, so it takes the damage automatically. Okay. So I will roll that. You're beautiful. <laughs> beautiful. Be You're beautiful. Right? Oh, wait. Let's see. What did I... You said you cast it. Uh, oh, it's 3d8. Oh, uh, yeah. It's a level 3 spell. My bad. All right, so he takes 13 fire damage. Let's burn see that spell come up all that often. All right. And... Let's see. Damage from the creature must succeed on a constitution saving throw or drop it if it can. Um, so he cannot just drop it. So he has disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks until the start of your next turn. Ooh. And then as a bonus action, I can cause 3d8 damage again until he takes off his armor. Rock. You can use a bonus action on each of your subsequent turns. So I don't think you can do it right now. No, but my next turn. Yep. Cool. Cool. That's it. All right. Um, Fantastic. Keggy McKeggerson's turn. Uh, it is going to... Well, even even staying where it's at, it'll have an advantage against you. Uh, so it's going to try a slam attack. And an eleven. That is not going to hit you. All right. It's trying. Oh yeah. Too busy dancing around, avoiding all, everything here. Can't seem to <laughs> land a punch on you. No surprise. Uh, Ursula. Um, I was getting a drink of water. What? Um, what? Uh. So I can still. Hmm. Can I also see the second keg guy? Mm-hmm. <clears throat> hmm. Do I want to hit the big guy? K guy, big guy. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'll go. For, does the K guy look like he's he's messed up or not too messed up yet? Uh, this keg guy doesn't look like he's taking any damage. And the big dwarf guy looks like. Oh wait, no, that's a lie. James did. You did damage this one, didn't you? All right, he's not here. Damn it. So, uh, yeah, the, the top one did take damage. I forgot. Um, I lost that when the encounter thing broke. Oh, okay. Dwarf guy still looks okay. Dwarf guy looks like he's... You can see burn patches on him, and he looks like he's taken a bit of a beating. I, mm-hmm. I, the barrel has taken some damage, but I don't remember offhand how much, because it reset everything. What in the hell? Hmm. There's something outside making the weirdest noise. Right? <laughs> Country living. Oh my god! Sorry, it was really distracting. It was like, wow, 
Wow. That sounds like a cat. Wow. I thought maybe it was a cat, but it sounds super weird. Maybe it is a cat. Do you oh, that might be that security? Tom cat. <laughs> Steve's <laughs> security. I think you'll find a cat in which you will kick. It's probably those stupid Tom cats. <clears throat> um, yeah, so anyway. Um, big guy had disadvantage on what was it? Uh, 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 wait. One second. Oh, one maybe second. it was his attack rolls or something. Disadvantage on attack rolls and ability checks. And ability check. Eh, I don't know if this really matters. For, I don't think that matters for Eldritch. Blah, 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 last. Maybe I'll go for Barrel Guy. Okay. Um, and a Barrel Guy. I'll do some more Eldritch Blast because that's what you do when you're a warlock. Oh. Well, that's not good. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> All right. So I need you to roll any die. Doesn't matter which one. Tell me odds or evens. Any die, they're even. Uh, two. Okay, even. so roll that attack die again. Oh, wait, you mean for damage or? To see if you hit. Whoops, hang on, I accidentally. 18. Garrow, what's your armor class? Uh, 17. All right. So, Gero, you're, you're standing there concentrating on your heat metal spell and you get nailed. You hear like, doop, 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 poof, and then you see lights for a quick second as you get slammed in the back with a, an Eldritch Ferret blast. Oh, oh God. Oh, no. Uh, roll damage. Uh, so when you roll one, it doesn't matter what your plus is to it. Correct. It's still a natural one. Hmm. 10. All right. 10 damage to Garrow. Oh, I'm in hit. I'm so sorry. I didn't mean to. Oh, it's okay. I still love you. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> the betrayal is real. <laughs> and I have to make a concentration con check. save. Yeah. Oh, man. That's even worse. It's all good. Uh, so you need to do a, a con save of 10. Okay. Yeah, oh, bro, I think he's that looks pretty damn that. good. Okay, I can still concentrate. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. All right, go ahead and roll your other your other beam. I'm gonna get a little flatter on the ground. <laughs> Fourteen. <laughs> Fourteen for the second one. All right. And, and which one are you sending this at? The barrel. Yeah, barrel guy. Okay. Uh, that one will hit. For 12. 12 damage. 12. Uh, James, do you remember how much damage you did to that, that remaining keg up there? Oh, uh... <sighs> trying to... Okay, so I hit it with the quarter staff for about... Oh, God, I can't remember if it was like... Bonking eight on bludgeoning. top for something, yeah. When my eight uh, bludgeoning, and then the second was a punch for about, I think seven bludgeoning. I I can't remember if it was seven bludgeoning or another eight bludgeoning. I can't I'm taking your word for it because when my uh, encounter thing shot out, I lost the the hit points. All right. So yeah, you uh, Ursula, you smack that one in the back with your blast, and it's looking uh, it's not it's not looking so great. Mm. Um, doing anything else? Mm, no. Okay. Cradle. But, uh, <laughs> Tamo, do you want Tamo to take a turn? Uh, yeah. Oh, you got rid of Tamo too. Damn it. Stupid thing. Okay, yeah, take uh, Tamo's turn. If Tamo flew in here, did an action and flew back out. Would he have like an opportunity attack on him from barrel guy? If he landed right there or stayed right there, then yeah, probably. <clears throat> Where wouldn't he get one? Well, these are bigger squares. Uh, it depends on what you're doing. Are you trying to do like a, a melee attack on him? Yeah. Then yeah. Yeah. He would absolutely get a, an attack of opportunity on Tamatam. Hmm. 
I don't know if I want to chance it. Mm. Mm. Maybe I won't then. Maybe time will just stay here. <laughs> She's so cautious about your familiar. I mean, technically <laughs> I could resummon him, I guess. But I feel like Ursula would be extra cautious. So we'll have him stay. Okay. Then it is Cradle's turn. <laughs> okay. Oh Cradle. my god. <laughs> <laughs> she puts on her tragedy mask and goes running because she sees action. <laughs> so I dashed. Um, so what do I see? What's going on with these bars that you were talking about? No, it looks like there there was bars coming from the floor and the ceiling. But um, with Lug and Garrow standing there, it mm-hmm. it looks like they've probably like did something to break their way in. You can see some of them look like melted and you know, like look like a, a metal melted candle. You're so not. It's open now. Yeah, Cradle's not entirely sure what happened, but like some of the bars are like broken on the ground, and Lug and Garrow are standing there, and you can hear fighting from in the other room. You see a, a keg, like almost blocking the doorway, the entranceway in there, lying on its side. All right. Hey, the stinky one is here. Uh, the pink stinky one. The punching pink stink. <laughs> Bear with me just a <laughs> moment. Hero's tail is irritatedly. Flicking back and forth like cats do. Because you got blasted <laughs> in the back of the head. Yeah. Because <laughs> you took a ferret donkey punch. <laughs> my fur is all singed on the back of my head. <laughs> it's never going to look right again. Well, he could use, what is it, prestigitation? And uh, make it clean, all Yeah, nice clean skin. stuff. Oh, yeah, I definitely will. <laughs> I like to think that as a tabaxi, you cast that as you're licking yourself. Yeah. <laughs> <clears throat> So, when I did dash, could I have used a key point as my bonus action to dash up to this point? Boop. Which would be my 90 feet dash. Mm-hmm. And then action. Use invisibility. Sure. Okay. I'm right <laughs> here. Hey, put my finger in my belly button. <laughs> She hit her belly button again. Where's that? Hi. There it is. Okay. (laughs) (laughs) And that'll be it for her. (laughs) (laughs) We just hear. (laughs) Yeah, like you guys can see Cradle run up there, and you just hear this weird, like, hissing, growling. I don't know. I don't know what that is. (laughs) (laughs) All right. Uh, Tumpy and Igna. Let me move back. I'm the map. Same thing. I'm the map. Do I hear anything yet? No, we can make a perception check again. I'll roll perception for Igna as well. Disadvantage still? Uh, nah, just a regular roll this time. Oh, Igna. Fifteen. All right. So fifteen you hear Ed <laughs> The goats are screaming from the other room. <laughs> Igna had a twenty two. All right. Igna can hear the same thing, but no, you guys can hear like sounds of battle uh a little ways beyond the, the goat pens. <laughs> Tumpy. Uh, Let's go get blood. And he's gonna dash. Same on dash also. Okay. The dashing barbarian. <laughs> <laughs> They're so dashing. <laughs> on my Ooh, screen, God. Tumpy moved like a, a few millimeters, then a few more millimeters, and then he took off. And I like to think that he was revving himself up. <laughs> 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 okay. So back to the top at G. Alrighty. <laughs> <sighs> Alrighty, so I'm going to 
hit this guy with a staff attack. Okay. I miss with a natural one. You sure do. So, and I'm going to try it again with another staff attack. Okay. Uh, that would be 21 to hit. 21 hits. Uh, 14 bludgeoning. Uh, 14? Yep. Okay. You bludgeon him. Hmm. And I'm going to, uh, uh, screw it. I'm going to bonus action punch him just once. Which one? The dwarf? No, uh, no the, the, keggy the, boy. Bar- the barrel. Gotcha. Uh, dirty 20 to hit. For Definitely the hits. Punch. Seven bludgeoning for that one. Okay. See, you see that like strip that's running between his eyes that kind of resembles a nose. You aim for that and just like smash that, that nose piece, that plank that's supposed to be his nose. And you smash that and like the top part of his mouth straight inside of his little keg body. And you hear instantly this <laughs> and he starts leaking everywhere as it like crumbles in a heap back here <laughs> next to the other little keg guy. Um, that was the end of keg guy. The keggles are gone. The keggles. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, anything else? Oh, for you? Uh, I do have a question. Now, the walls are made out of stone. Yeah. All right. That'll help me out with my uh, next thing that I haven't used since I've gotten it. So I shall mm-hmm. use that next turn. Okay. Uh, Thank you. Log. Log looks back at you, Garo. After he, he, he's noticed you get hit by the thing, he's like, are you okay, friend? Oh, uh, <laughs> yeah. I, I'm okay, but thanks for asking. Okay. Do I keep stabbing this? I don't know what uh, it is. No, I, th- I think it's dead. You can you can get a drink if you like, though. Oh, no. <laughs> so, oh, okay. Uh, <laughs> he, like, I, I would have earlier, earlier, I would have mentioned, I wouldn't drink it just in case. I don't think it's good. Lug just really wants to... Uh, uh, like make Garrow happy. He's trying not to die as well. <laughs> yeah. uh, so he reaches down and, and gets like a, he scoops like a handful of it and starts sipping it. Oh. And his face looks like, you know, some non beer drinkers first drink of an IPA. <laughs> <laughs> um, uh, he's got to succeed on a DC 13. Can't say no, stupid beyond. What are you doing? It's terrible tonight. Yes, t- take a drink from its bung. Drink from the bung. <laughs> Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that's what that's what it has. It's appropriate oh, yeah. for this. Uh, <laughs> good old bunghole. <laughs> Lug oh my god, I just that? realized Lug only has seven. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, oh, you don't look so good, my friend. Uh, you don't want to stop <laughs> drinking that. What did I just tell you? <laughs> yes, yes, li- listen to the robot. And listen to the robot. Takes ten poison damage. <gasps> when he drinks this. Oh my god. Uh-oh. Uh, I'm moving you guys around because I can't get to some of you. Uh-oh. <laughs> There you go. It says, oh, Log, Log don't like that. I don't, can I not drink it anymore? Oh, don't drink that. Gosh, we should have listened to the robot. I'm sorry. sorry. Oh, yeah, no one drink the ale. It's not good. Uh, he's holding his stomach and you're just, <laughs> oh, Log, Log don't feel good. Um, oh, you could use that kind corner of, over in the room. He wanders back here. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. 
<laughs> do some fecal damage to did everybody. You, did you hear that weird little laugh in the background? Like the, <laughs> the, the ghost of Christmas <laughs> ass is back there. <laughs> uh, <laughs> oh, All right. Um, Big Dwarf. Um, so he he's wielding that that chunk of like uh, dark uh, gray, almost black crystal. He wields that in one hand and swings oh, beyond oh. dumpster fire. <laughs> oh no! All right, it is though. It is being awful tonight. All right, uh, eighteen to hit you. He misses as he like, tries to carve you into you with it. Um. Oh, he had disadvantage anyway. I forgot. Dis. Oh, you rolled a natural twenty on the second one, but yeah, what? he misses. Um. <laughs> so then he gets uh, this war pick swing at disadvantage. Uh, two and an eighteen is gonna miss. Okay. And then I think he gets to make a save against that again, right? I believe so. Until the start of your next turn. Oh, no, he does not. No save. No save. All right. All right. So he does not currently have disadvantage, but he's about to get it back, I think. Because it's Garrow's turn. Oh, yeah. I have to use a bonus action, too. And then he. All right, cool. All right, those bars, um, the spikes that came down, do they come down from the top or or the top and the bottom? Both. They kind of met in the middle to interlock. Okay. So I got to kind of carefully squeeze through. Yeah, you guys broke enough of them that you can get through there, though. Okay. And, uh, yeah, I guess I'll, I'll squeeze through the bars. Okay. And, uh... And then I'll use a bonus action to reinstate the the heat metal. All right. Heating his heating his armor up. 3d8. 3d8. That's 13 points of damage. And here. Uh Father, no! And he lets out like one last like cry and you know how you really like jerky from everything? Oh, oh I love he I smells, love cooking my meal. <laughs> he smells like he's turning to jerky. <laughs> oh uh, god. You, you can see black spots appearing on like the exposed skin where the armor was covering. And he like do you you can see him clutch that chunk of crystal like one last time harder as he slumps over to the side and you can start to hear a sizzling sound. <laughs> like Ooh. bacon fries yeah, bacon. bacon pancakes as I'm walking up I'm just <laughs> smelling the air like mmm oh cooked <laughs> meal <laughs> he falls dead so is he he's dead he's dead I mean do most living people usually smell like bacon care depends on their diet <laughs> Mm-mm-mm. How are you doing, uh, Gu? I might need to rest for a moment. <laughs> yeah, you you look a little worn out. You might need uh, to oil some of those gears. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just gonna I'm gonna go over to the corner. Probably just sit down for a little bit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, God. As a G goes to walk away, you feel a strong hand grasp your ankle. <gasps> oh. Uh, it's some kind of little death rasp. It's my father. More powerful than you can imagine. Mm. Filthy, filthy things. You don't understand the glory of it. The power found in the ice. As he says that, you can hear like tink, 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 and that crystal comes rolling towards you. Uh oh! This you'll learn soon enough. When Father unleashes his terror upon ten <coughs> <coughs> doubts, 
and Doom arrives on Dragon's wings, and he falls dead. <gasps> Silent, oh. still. <laughs> oh no, that, that didn't sound too good, uh, did it to you? That didn't sound like good news. One second, writing down shit. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, uh, what's that? Can I pick up the, the black crystal? Yep. Mm-hmm. So certain lights, it looks dark gray. Others, it's almost pitch black, depending on how you turn it and stuff. Mm. Oh, this is really pretty. Uh, I'm going to take it to uh, Ursula. Ursula, yeah. what do you make of this? Ooh, that's neat. Uh, would Ursula know what this is or anything about it? Um, you can make a see, make an Arcana trick. It's gonna have pretty high DC, though. I I would mention uh, mention the phrase. He kept saying something about Shardlin. I I don't know if that sounds like anything to anybody at all, but. To me, no. He kept referring to it as father, or for father, doing it for father's glory. Yeah. Mm. Can a cradle sneak into the room where Giu is? Sure. I rolled a 19, by the way. Okay. Um... See how I want to uh, see how I want to do this. Um, also, real quick, is this the gem that I put in the intro? Mm-hmm. Uh, the s- intro video, same kind, yes. Okay. <laughs> not oh yeah yeah it's not like that exact thing, but it's the same kind. Same kind of gem crystal thing stone. Yep. yep. Mm. Yeah, crafty, crafty. It's funny, when I actually put that in there, you had no idea what that was. You know, I didn't, it's you're like, like, can you put this dark gem crystal thing? I'm like, what the, what are you talking about? And the invisible boot prints? <laughs> yep. Yeah. Um. Skeksy snow. Oh. Excellent. Okay. Uh, Elfling, please! <laughs> <laughs> so, some of you guys might appreciate this more than others. Um, <clears throat> Ursula knows or has at least heard about a, an ancient demonic magic that was part of a thing called uh, Krenshinabon. Oh, Cradle was right. Cradle was right, demon worshippers. <laughs> oh my god. You know from things that you've heard and some even some like around town gossip and talking in uh ten towns since you've been here. Like kind of like old like folklore kind of tales about this um great black tower in Icewind Dale. Um You've heard stories that when it was destroyed, it sent shards, these like crystalline shards, all like scattering around, and that they seem to be like highly sought after for some kind of um, some kind of like people look at to try to find them to see if they can get the any bit of that that power that used to be in them. Um, You also know that, by and large, the the stuff that's found anymore, especially the stuff that's like up closer to the ground, it tends to be the the non magical, um, and it's not quite the same substance that came off of Kryn Shinabon. It's a since it's mixed with the ice over like hundreds of years, it's kind of changed the the structure of it, and I think that's pretty much what you would know there. Okay. Ursula will relay that to everybody, what you just said, basically. Okay. So it's it's not technically the same as Crunch and Bond, but something related to it? 
Um, kind of. Hmm. I'm I'm reading through it right now to make sure I'm telling you the exact right stuff here. Uh, so it's yeah. it's shards of that crystal and the, the okay and the magic that was within the old tower that's merged with the ice that's okay. made, that's okay. made this blackened crystal. I Ooh. see. Okay. There we go. What did you say, Ursula? Crin Cinnabon? <laughs> Crin Cinnabon. This is Ooh. probably very important. She holds it up and looks at it. She also makes note of this in her her notebook. Is it magical? I believe, yes, it probably is. To know 100%, you'd have to detect magic or something on it. Yeah. <clears throat> Ursula Which just thinks it probably is. Cradle, look at um, Igna's features. Okay. Igna might have something to help with that. Features. Oh, yeah, I think he does, doesn't he? After Ursula tells us that, I, I would bring up the. I, she heard she heard him yell something about chartling, right? Yes. Um he was like muttering him to himself. <clears throat> okay, well I So I, Ursula I would, probably I would wouldn't have heard it. I I would uh, bring up chartling, uh, however that uh, uh uh whatever he was saying up so, to so. Magic awareness? Uh yes. yes. Is, is it magic oh. awareness? How, you, how it has it in the pronunciation guide. Chardolin. Chard. Oh. It's not how it's spelled. That's just the pronunciation for it. Uh, Igna would have to be within 60 feet, and he's not. Okay. Um, I know it's not turn order, so should I move him? Yeah, I mean, that's, we're out of initiative right, okay. right now. Does Ursula know anything about the Chardolin thing? It has something to do with th these, this crystals and Crenshinabon, but you're not entirely sure how or what. Okay. Most likely, what you're holding is a piece of it, but you're not like super sure about it. Nineteen is okay. pretty high. Writing. Down. <laughs> Everybody's no cradle. <laughs> cradle sees Gu sitting there. She's invisible, and she is just gonna tackle him and hit her with her staff, <laughs> and <laughs> cast cure wounds at third level. <laughs> bonk bonk bonk. <laughs> So she's like, damn! And he gets 10 points of, <laughs> of HP back. Okay. <laughs> so G, you, you heal for whatever she just healed you for. Uh, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I think we're getting... I don't know, maybe somewhere closer to this whole mystery of whatever ails this entire land. It's the mm. devil worshippers. Did you say ale? <laughs> I oh, wait. really it's... use ale right now. I mean ale as in bother, not the good ale. Well, that's a downer. I know, but, you know, multiple words could sound the same, but mean different things. Like no, we're not going to the schoolhouse. We're not going to the schoolhouse rock bit. <laughs> schoolhouse rock. Well, it sounds like we have a an evil dwarf to hunt down. 
<clears throat> well, actually, I don't really know if he's evil, but uh, he might taste good. As I reach down and pull a, a burnt piece of flesh off <laughs> this Duergar and start munching on it. Yeah. <laughs> Let's get some crunchy do cr cheese. Crunchy? Crispy. I, I combine yes. crunchy and crispy. Crispy. <laughs> crispy. 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 Man, I can't say words. Words are no good tonight. Um Yes. <clears throat> Words be not good. Okay. <clears throat> so, uh, Tumpy, do you know of any uh, evil, super magic powered dwarves in this land? Before I answer that, mm -hmm. what happened to these kegs on the floor? <laughs> oh, don't don't drink those. Don't don't drink those at all. Uh, they came to life and attacked us. Uh, and then uh, Lug tried drinking one and it's it's not good. <laughs> so he on, was the on, taste tester for you. On cue uh, from the other room, <clears throat> you can hear uh, Lug void his bowels in the corner. <laughs> uh, he's going to go ahead and make another save. Die, please die, please die. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> uh, what did uh, you still, say? He's still poisoned. <clears throat> did you say something, Tumpy? <laughs> no. Oh, okay. I, <laughs> I swear I heard you whispering something. <laughs> Do so, I know what these are? Um <laughs> you can roll a history check, maybe. Can Cradle roll perception to see if she hears the bowels being unleashed? Oh, you don't need to roll perception. You can hear it as loud. And then after you hear him voiding his bowels, you can hear him. Like, oh my god. Yeah, he, Lug is violently ill. Oh, that does not smell good. No. Gee, I think I need to go help the pukey guy. It smells like a oh, red yeah. hair porn yeah. potty in there. Yeah, I'll do, be yeah. do what you gotta do. I'm, I'm just gonna be here... Uh... Uh, buffing out the scratches. <laughs> <laughs> All, right. All right. She smells the finger as she's walking away to go find love. Tumpy, you don't <laughs> have any idea what these are. Well, I mean, you know what they should be, but they're, you know, obviously not a normal uh, keg of ale. You they said he's come to life? They smell pretty putrid, too. Yeah, they had arms and legs and they were beating the crap out of Giu. I want to I take a swig out of my flask. Then I'll try drinking the stuff. <laughs> okay. <laughs> um, oh, no, that's a bad idea. So the arms and legs are still there, too. Like, you, you can oh, see... Okay. Uh, or no, one of them... One of them I said no, huh? Like, popped its... Yeah. Popped its limbs in and then rolled away. Yes. One of them, the one with its face caved in, still has his arms and legs out. He just got, like, smashed backwards back here. Um, all right. Um, do you have your flask on your sheet? I do. Okay. Should be the first one in my equipment. Your equipment? monk? I Quip knew monk. you were going to say it. I was waiting for it. No, you didn't. Uh, D. There's Tumpy. <laughs> Uh, Tumpy Equipmonk. Andy? Mm-hmm. <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah. You, you take a swig of your flask. And then... And then... I drink whatever spilled out of them. Okay. It's a... Like an ale-colored liquid. It's an amber color. And it tastes awful. You can feel your your guts start to react to it, and then your what was in your flask starts uh, neutralizing it. Oh, just get a bit of a gas, and let out a, a hellacious burp. But um, once that's gone, you feel fine. Oh no! Hold on to your butt, Tumpy. 
Hold on to your butt. That's <laughs> fine. This ain't nothing. <laughs> oh, that's Which nice. one looks least beat up? Uh, the one that still has uh, the face intact. I'm going to try to carry it. <laughs> okay. I mean, I'm going to go. Oh, go ahead, Andy. If you're not trying to do anything like time sensitive or anything, like you, you can carry it. You're strong enough to carry it. You're a big boy. Yeah, I might strap it to my back, but I'm taking it out of here. Okay, so you guys remember that scene with Chewie running down the hallway with uh, C-3PO shoved in a sack? <laughs> yeah. That's, that's pretty much what Tumpy with a keg thing strapped to his back looks like. That's right. Exactly. <laughs> so just to just to give it a shout out here, this was uh, a keg golem from the Creature Codex that uh, Chrissy got me a while back. And uh, <laughs> this thing has some awesomely hilarious stuff in it. Not just hilarious. There's like some legit, like scary shit. Some really a interesting lot of cool enemies. Stuff in it. Yeah, yeah. And this was by uh, Kobold. Is it by Kobold? Yes, Kobold, Kobold Press. Press. This uh, it's advertises over f- or nearly 400 monsters in it. It's just a giant ass book of monsters. And this is the kind of thing it's I cool. wish wizards would put out. Like. The, the Tome of Foes is cool. The Volo's Guide is kind of neat, but they're pretty skinny compared to this thing. And this is nothing but monsters. As, <laughs> as neat as some of those like layer things are and all that, like I just want I'm like a, a giant book of nothing but monsters. I don't really, I don't know. The layer stuff and all that, I feel like it's easy enough to homebrew to do what you want or just like take some existing uh, layer info from the books and change them around a little bit i just like these these giant books of monsters i like them mm. lots of good art so i saw those in there i'm like tumpy will love these things <laughs> yes I'm showing it off one more time <laughs> whoops i really dig the hell out of the design oh they're cute yeah they're yeah. cool you thought i was underwear it's a it's a wood beard it's like the yeah i don't know like planks or slats or whatever you want to call them when they were tiny, I thought maybe it was like a butt flap, but yeah, it's a beard. Oh. <laughs> this is a loincloth for him. A butt flip. Hey, hey Kat, you want a drink of this? <laughs> uh, I, I don't think so. Um, I, I think I'll pass. Um, <laughs> Come I, I don't on. Think my, oh, maybe my guts are as strong as yours. I eat a lot of stuff. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> how, how is it? Is it you got a nice little buzz off it? It's great. Let me smell it. Let me smell it. <laughs> hmm. What does it smell like? It smells kind of like oil. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'll, I'll just take a little cat lick of it, like with my tongue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that, that's horrid. <laughs> Must be a bad year. Bad year, definitely. <laughs> <laughs> Do it right. yourself. I think I'd prefer something a little tastier. This is the worst ale I've ever tasted. <laughs> Cradle, did you heal Lug? Um, Cradle is holding his hair back as he's vomiting, and then she's going to take one of her fingers and fish hook him in the side of his mouth. <laughs> <laughs> and do Jeez. physician's touch to <laughs> cure his poison. <laughs> wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. All right. Oh god. So he's no longer poisoned. <laughs> he just had Where is this finger been just in the the course of this episode? <laughs> well, the oh, last no. episode it it punched a butt cheek. It did punch butt cheeks, yes. Um I mean it's been in her stinks. belly button, been in her yeah. nose. Yeah, but in her nose or belly button. It's been in many holes. <laughs> then you just and jammed then? it in Log's mouth. Yeah, fish hook the side of his mouth. Fink! Now All she right. probably has puke on it, too, because he was just puking. And the it's only so washing bad. she's gotten is uh, Garo prestigitation cleaning her. Yep. <laughs> Why do you like to play <laughs> filthy monks? I don't know. <laughs> that is her thing. Filthy, Filthy gross monks. monks. 
right. So, oh, log, log feels better now. Oh. Good, good. Oh. And she's going to pat him on the shoulder. I'm hungry. Hungry? <laughs> I'm hungry. Oh, and she's going to rifle food. through her pockets. And she found some old bird seed that was in her pocket from before. And she's going to hand it to him. <laughs> oh, that won't help Log. It's good. And she puts it in his mouth. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh good dad. <laughs> don't, don't eat that crap. I've got some good uh, dwarven bacon in here, Lug. I cooked oh. it already for us. Lug likes bacon, and he goes walking away with soggy footsteps. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> <laughs> Lug comes in, and he just, like, the smell that hits this room is just, well, it's unfortunate. <laughs> oh, I'm going to start cleaning him up. His soiled pants. I can unsoil him. With that magic. <laughs> Clean like, dirty Oh, diaper. God. Oh, this, oh, God. That's so, oh, uh, uh, it's gross. Uh, uh, oh, oh, God. Oh, I almost puked on him. Oh, that's <laughs> funny. <laughs> so after I'm done with that, I go over to GU and I slump down next to him and I just start purring against him. And with my purrs, I healing word you. <laughs> Um, for let's six points oh. of healing purrs. Healing. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Um. All right. Well, so thank you. The, the 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 tummy bubbles have been calmed. Uh, people <laughs> have been healed. Um. What would you guys like to do? Check out this room over here. Uh, Can I carry the second golem too? No. (laughs) I hate you. You you might need help with that. I'm not saying you can't take it, but you can't carry it. Two of them by yourself. I'm hijacking Igna. We're carrying both of them. (laughs) (laughs) Tumpy, <laughs> allow me to assist you. And I put out my big penis to assist you, Tumpy. <laughs> I wrap it around him and tie a knot. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. <laughs> we need a, oh, God. I almost think we need a, a, a con save to wrap it around there. No, just stick it in the bung and lift it up. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> You know, make it a hand puppet. <laughs> okay. Garrow, inside of here, we're going to skip over all that real quick. Like, um, you see, uh, let's see. It's like a, a nice little, like, living quarters that you find in here. Um, you can see uh, a, a bed carved out of cone. Jeez. Carved out of stone. Um, in a desk that's also made from stone in an otherwise kind of drab room. Um, on top of the desk, you can see some more like shards and slivers of that same kind of crystalline material. Ooh, I want some of those. Uh, a crumpled up piece of paper and a burlap sack that's draped over some kind of glowing object. And, Ooh, what's uh, that? The glow <laughs> that's, um, coming through that sack like it you know it's over top of it whatever it is but it's still kind of like you know like that you can still see light coming through uh it shifts between blue green and red well that's not a very good hiding place for something that glows oh. i lift up the sack and see what's underneath all right uh it looks like a lantern <gasps> i found the lantern ah. i found the lantern everyone he found a lantern. No. Oh. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna. I'm gonna take. Uh, how many shards are there? Lord Almighty. <laughs> there are. <laughs> several. So we'll say. Like five shards of it. Okay, I'll take sh- several shards, and I'll ask. Uh, ask if anybody wants some shards. 
Gross. Shards of chardlin. Yeah. Anybody want some, some char- chardlin shards? shards? How many was there? Five. Five. Five of them? Should we should we each take one? Should one person hold on to them? I don't know what they do yet. <laughs> I wouldn't mind uh, holding on to one, or if you want, throw them all in the bag of holding, or... Uh, I'll take two. One for you, G.U. I think um, Ursula has the one still that Garrow gave her, so I guess she'll yeah. hold on to that one. Do you want any more, Ursula? Hmm. Perhaps if no one else wants to hold them. Maybe Cradle would. I know she would have fun with it. Hey, one for you, Cradle. <laughs> uh-huh. <laughs> yep, and then one for you, Ursula. Oh, thank you. She's going to look at Cradle and be like, don't put that in your nose or in your butt. <laughs> <laughs> she lowers her hand because she was definitely putting it in her nose. <laughs> To you, you're responsible. I wasn't gonna, <laughs> Ursula. I was just smelling it. Wait, uh, what did you call these again? Just crystal shardlins? The shardlin? Shard, yeah. Chardlin. Chardlins. Chardlin. Sorry, chardlin. Yep. Uh, what color are they again? I'm sorry. There's like a blackish gray. Uh, yeah, they're like a deep, dark gray or like black, depending on like how they're catching the light. All right. <laughs> Ursula still has that. Um, hmm, the thing in her chest, right? Yep. Out of curiosity, she just wants to hold the chard close to that spot on her chest and see if there's any sort of reaction to it. Um, nope. Mm, Nothing. Okay. I like and also, can we loot this big guy? Yeah, you can loot him. Uh, he has a set of, uh, scale mail on him that's a little bit fancier than the other ones. Mm. Um, did, uh, Matt, or Igna put his magic thing up? Oh, I think yeah. maybe we should do. Should we do? Should we do the thing? See if we find any magic. I don't remember if you guys ever decided to do that or not. I don't think we did decide. Should we do? Maybe, yeah. Yeah, I don't see why not. Let's do. Okay. Um, so he lights his little power thing up. <laughs> um, the armor on... Uh, the, the big guy here and the war pick both give off a faint blue light and let's see 60 feet yeah um, Igna can sense uh, another touch of magic uh, down here in this room hmm. anything gonna... from the shard shard um, Surprisingly, no. Huh. The okay. shards of Chardolin all look um, mundane. Hmm. Interesting. All right. Igna. Um, well, I can't remember if Garrow picked it up or not, but the, the lantern has like the faintest blue glow indicating mm. a presence of magic. Hmm. I think I'm going to give it to GU. Okay. So the one we got to bring back to the Blue Water Inn, was it? Yeah, uh, and you could definitely use this when we're outside when it's windy and you can't see shit. So <laughs> <laughs> you, you should probably carry this. <laughs> well, thank you. The um, Northern Lights. Then, <laughs> yeah. Let's see. Uh, well, Garrow was in there. Igno was in there. Both of you guys can make an investigation roll in there. Investigation! I got a 15. Okay. Oh, 12 for Igna. All right. Uh, Garrow, you also find you're like going through the room, like you um, pull up the, the small mattress that's on that 
um, uh, stone bed in there. It's part There's of, always stuff under here. <laughs> it's part of the bedroll. Uh, and you find a coin purse containing 24 gold and 17 silver. Bingo! Anybody want uh, some of this gold and silver? Probably just put it in the uh, community bag of holding. Yeah, either that or split it, maybe. Among everyone. If you guys want, you guys can split it. I got a good amount on me still. So I'm, I'm, I'm good for a long time. Ooh. Let's see, here I split it up between me. Cradle's just dicking around in the other room. <laughs> also, does anybody want that scale mail? I can't wear it. Mm. I can't wear it. Yeah, I can't either. Can Inga or Chuck? Well, Tumpy, I guess, has his yes, show. No way. <laughs> Wait, is that something Inga? Ing- Igna. Talk. Igna. Is that something he would use, maybe? I don't think so. I mean, he, he could use it, but I don't think he would want to because of uh, the barbarian bonuses. Yeah, Should we yeah. take it anyway and stick it in the bag of holding to sell, maybe? Might be the best bet. Put on Tamo. Tamo. <laughs> <laughs> He would not be able to fly, I think. See when you're not wearing heavy armor. I feel like there's is there something else for uh barbarians not wearing armor. On armored defense, there we go. Mm. Yeah, your AC equals ten plus Dex plus con mod. Dex mod, con mod, shield bonus. Okay. What's the AC on the armor? Um, let me look it up real quick. Like, because he might. He's only at fifteen. Whoops. Um, AC would be fourteen plus Dex. Uh, he's got Dex mod of plus two, so that would be sixteen. And it is that was one of the items that was uh, glowing magical too. No, you guys can take it if you want. It's up to you. I say we take it because we can uh, at least sell it. Probably the armor and the war pick were both. Oh yeah, and the war pick too. You guess we'll put that in the bag of holding. Yeah, that's what I think. So make sure somebody jots it down. I am right now. They was both magical. Yep. They sure was. I'm, I'm going to give them. Oh, go ahead. Do you want them in the bag of holding or does somebody want to carry them on, on them? Um, probably put probably, them in the bag of holding. Yeah, that's what I think. Anyway. All right, so magic. And magic war pick. How cool does that war pick look? I mean, it uh, cool wise. Uh, I don't. Know. You can imagine what a a war pick look like with a, a couple extra little like. Um, like I don't know, like uh, like mithril studs in it. The head itself isn't mithril, but it's got a couple of different like mithril studs and like a really fancily wrapped handle. Um, so it looks quite a bit nicer than the other ones, but um, it does look like just kind of like a fancy normal war pick. Can I hang on to that. 
Sure. It's <laughs> For when you don't want to use your spikes. Uh, just oh. all right. And I'm handing out four gold to everybody. Baller. Thank you. Thank you. All right. What are you guys doing? I guess we should probably check out the rest of this place. And I'm going to look up to Lug. And uh, secretly hand him 17 silver pieces. Loach. Lug, Lug. Yeah. For, for getting us here and your good work. <laughs> Shh. Don't let Dumpy see. <laughs> Just, well, okay. Still doesn't sound like he feels all that great, but uh, mm. he's got his his seventeen silver. So, so th thank you, friend. <laughs> you you did really good. Log strong. <laughs> Log strong. I I, re I reach into uh, my backpack and I hand him a thing of rations to hopefully help him settle his stomach. Oh, oh, thank you. He, he <laughs> takes it, goes and sits against the wall and starts eating into it like crazy. <laughs> Something awful is going to happen to this orc, isn't it? I want to pour the rest of the contents of the keg on this food. <gasps> oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> You're trying to be sneaky, or you're just walking up in the middle of everybody and trying to empty a keg? Just walking up. Oh my god. What a dick. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so so G, fun. you and Garo, you see Tumpy walk over with the, the keg strapped to his back. And he's like, Tumpy, you're, you're doing everything with this thing on your back, right? You're not taking the time to set it down and like finagle with it and then try to, to tilt it and dump it. I didn't think that far. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> or are you just standing there with it on your back and you're dancing around trying to splash it all over lug? Yeah. Yeah. That one is, just... <laughs> that sounds good. That sounds, yeah. <laughs> all right. Uh, make just a, a straight dexterity check. Nine. <laughs> yeah, you splash some around, but it just kind of like slops everywhere. It doesn't really land on log. He can see it and always eating and he's like pulling his legs and he doesn't want anything on him. <laughs> <laughs> Scrambles up real quick. No, no, I, log no want. Make log sick. Tumbert. He's, he's very not nice. <laughs> Are you trying to poison that guy that I just healed with my fish hook thingy? <laughs> <laughs> Probably so. Why? <laughs> Tompert. <laughs> Tompert. Oh, Tumpy. Oh, you. <laughs> oh, Tumpy. Da -da 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 -da. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's the Tumpy show. <laughs> Who else but Tumpy? <laughs> Who's going to die today? <laughs> oh, Tumpy. Did you mash that guy into the ground again? <laughs> <laughs> It sure did as he pulls a piece of him off his spike. <laughs> <laughs> Tosses it to Garo. Garo eats it. <laughs> oh, Tumpy, don't you think you're a little hard on Lug? No. <laughs> Igna from the other room. You say hard on? Oh, God. Jeez. <laughs> All right. W what are we doing? Before this gets even more <laughs> chaotic. Um, I don't know. When are we ending this episode soon? 
Um, I was going to or... go like another 15. <clears throat> okay. Just debating on what to do based on that, I guess. <laughs> yep. Radle, follow me. Everybody's mm-hmm. fine with 15 minutes, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We got to go down and check out this hallway. Cradle starts to far- follow Garo, but then she sees the goats. Meh. <laughs> it runs the other way. Meh. <laughs> it barks back at you. <laughs> I'm going to grab my spear as I'm going by the dead dwarves. Okay. Whoops. Damn it. Oh, oh long, long will grab a spear too. Long mist. <laughs> Cradle wants to try to unlock Cage on the Memes, the Golts. Are you sure you don't want to get those on the way back out? Just so we don't. <laughs> just in case. <laughs> oh, just let her play with the goats, G.U. All right. <laughs> <laughs> are, you, are you saying that to Cradle? No. Because <laughs> she would listen to G.U. <laughs> Do what your heart's content. I'm just... <laughs> Never mind. No, no, finish it. You, you, no, you got it. <laughs> do what you gotta do, man. You got it. Mom, be <laughs> cradle. You gotta be cradle. Cradle doesn't know how to unlock things. <laughs> stick, stick your fingers in her nose. I don't know. That, that, be happy for... <laughs> Go, boogers. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> gotta stick some of, booger, boogers in the lock. Like, Pull out a fork and just start like stabbing at the keyhole. <laughs> open it somehow. <laughs> oh god! It could be another test. Karate chop the karate chop the lock. I believe in you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, do it. That's a fantastic test. Though, with all honesty, I've never done it before, so it would be something <laughs> that. Hmm. <laughs> You can try whatever you want to, to try to unlock it. I'll try uh, to work. Attack roll? Yeah, yeah. try to chop it. What are, you, what are you attacking with? I guess my fist. Okay. Oh, God. 13. Dead. <laughs> Bails to the back of the cage. <laughs> 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 you just smash this metal cage with a good poor goat inside of it. <laughs> Gio. <laughs> they didn't like it. <laughs> hmm. so you can see like when it when it turned to run away to the back of the cage, it left some some pebbles behind for you. <laughs> some pebbles. Some goat <gasps> pebbles. Hey Andy, can you bring a light source over here? <laughs> Oh, yeah, <laughs> my bad. Sorry. No, you're good. Oh, poor Dave. <laughs> no, it's all good. <laughs> you can't you, see. He has the cool lantern. A lantern. Right. True, he does. Gio, they didn't like it when I punched the lock. Hmm. I see. Gio looks like a disco robot right now with all the lights, colored lights going off. Ooh. Yeah. I'm, very I'm just doing this for now. I can just give you a light source. Make you the light source. Wait, cool. Alrighty. Uh, yeah, that should work. Although for this man, mm-hmm. I think I need to knock it down to 10 and 10 because these are each 10 feet instead. Which I'll just tell Cradle. Hmm. Uh, maybe, maybe we'll we'll find some keys on one of the guards around here, and then we can unlock it without scaring the goats too bad. Oh, that's <laughs> a good idea. You're so smart. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be back, goats. Nah. Oh wait, gonna... hold on a second. <clears throat> mm-hmm. I have a ninja dart. Is there a way I could try to finagle it? Finagle it. Go make a sleight of hand check on it. Sleight of hand. Plus five. 
Yeah, you mm. shove the dart in there and you know, jiggle it around and eventually you hear that satisfying little and it <gasps> springs open. <gasps> the bloodlust takes over and the goats look like they need... No, I'm just joking. <laughs> <laughs> just set the goats on fire. <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> well, I guess it should have been a dexterity check, but whatever, it doesn't matter. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, it would have just been a plus five anyway. I don't have proficiency in the, uh, the thing, so. Gotcha. Well, yeah, you, uh, you, you jimmy the lock open. Yeah. But before I open the, before I open the door all the way, I'm just to say there were uh, ladders, right? Uh, down the um, down the chute. Yeah. I'm just going to say, are you sure you don't want to leave him here for right now? And then we'll come back for him because uh, I don't think we're going to be able to get them up and down the ladders. And, uh, you know, if they're roaming around, they might get lost and might just fall off the mountain. Oh, you're right. I can work on making some lassos and she's going to sit down in the snow and start trying to make lassos. Okay, so you're using your, your rope and you're like cutting your rope up into sections. And you can uh, fashion some lash up. lassos. Lash hose. A, a, a lasso. 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 Is it here? <laughs> and is, a, is, there a door, is there a door where <laughs> I'm at? Uh. Donde esta? Donde esta? How are you? Donde esta? Common? Aquí, aquí. Yes. <laughs> it's, all right. Uh, oh. I see inside. I can see inside you. <laughs> Some stairs. Okay, oh, hold on. <laughs> Wait, where's he at? To the south. Yeah, where did he go? Oh, okay, okay, okay. Um, so. This chamber appears to be a cell block lined with stone doors that have small barred windows set into them at dwarf's eye height. Uh, snow and wind enter the room through a barred window in the northeast corner that looks out toward the snow-covered bunker that guards the main entrance. <gasps> These are my favorite types of windows. Barred windows. Boo. <laughs> <laughs> You're getting the Mustella laugh. <laughs> uh, so there's cells here. There's what three cells along the west wall and five along the south wall. I would, uh, I guess, um, yeah, I guess we'll loot the bodies as we go back. We could, yeah. Um, what's in the cells, Andy? <clears throat> uh, where are you checking? I will check this one first. All right, you slide that one open. Uh, the uh, well, you're just opening the. Um... I'm peeking in first because what if there's something dangerous oh. in there? Barred window set in a dwarf's eye. Yep. So you can see. Um, looks like one prisoner in here. <clears throat> um, this one in here uh, looks like a. Uh, let's see. Are you in there? Psst. What are you? So it, it looks like a barbarian, like one of the like 10 towns or one of the barbarians that kind of frequents the 10 towns, like outer areas, but he's got a bunch of like weird growths all over him. Ooh, gross. Oh, and you're a barbarian. We don't need more. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> oh, what's, what's in this one? They, they look like they're, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so they, these growths look like, like some kind of weird, like fungus or like weird 
kind of spore things all over it. Cordyceps. Hey, hey, you in there? Are, are you are you alive? Uh, which one are you at now? Um, it kind of like it was sitting down and it, it clambers up in these weird like herky jerky motions, and it, it kind of stands like all crooked, head tilted to one side, staring out the door. Mm. And um, did you check to see if it was locked? Uh, no, I haven't even touched it yet. Oh. Uh. It just pushes the door open. Oh, oh, crap. Oh, oh. And it comes like walking uh, straight at you in this weird like herky jerky kind of gig. Oh, and that's uncomfortable. It's like some getting popping noises. Lives. Um, stand back or I will slice oh. you. I'm getting Last of Us vibes, dude. This is eerie. <laughs> yeah. Hey, maybe it's because I like that game a lot. Uh, it is pretty awesome. Yeah, we're gonna end there. We'll pick back up right now. <laughs> okay, can, can can I can I just say that I'm sad that I wasn't in there because I would have said one of the greatest one-liners of all time. Say oh, it, say it. it. Yeah, I'm gonna say it. Do it. You sh- you should let him out. He looks like a fun guy. No. Oh, uh, yeah. yeah. uh, boo. Yay. <laughs> My mediocrity knows no bounds. Negative inspiration. <laughs> No. <laughs> no, that was fun. Um, wasn't expecting to have uh, to lug, destroy a wall, or uh, you know, be made violently ill. Also, wasn't fully expecting Tumpy to steal the keg golems, but I guess I should have figured that <laughs> might happen. I knew he'd like them. I didn't expect him to take one. Um, but yeah, Ooh. got some some fun little uh, lore. Some info for future quest stuff. Yeah. So, yeah it was a fun episode. Yeah. Hey. Tumpy's battle wagon is going to have like a collection of the coolest stuff on it. It is. Yeah. So, uh, thank you, uh, everyone, for watching. Um, if you're new, I hope this was a, a cool introduction, fun little introduction uh, for you and our ridiculous group here, including Cradle the Ridiculous. Um, <laughs> Yeah, she's bound to be picking at or putting her finger in something, including poor Lug now. <laughs> uh, the murder machines of Tumpy and GU are just mm-hmm. kind of crazy. Um, but it, yeah, yeah. Um, I, I hope you guys had fun. Uh, returning viewers, I hope we're not disappointing. I uh, really hope everyone's enjoying it. Uh, I enjoy running it, and I hope you guys enjoyed playing it. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, uh, make sure you guys, uh, everybody watching, if you can, if you liked it, go ahead and smack the like button for us. Um, you know, hit it with that new war pick that Tumpy got. Just smash the shit out of that like button. Uh, give us a subscribe if you liked it so you don't miss out on any more episodes and watch us uh, go all the way through uh, the Rhyme of the Frost Maiden module. And then uh, make sure you, you check out the other campaign. Uh, the Mudbutts Goblin campaign, which is uh, set in Wildmount. Um, they have fun with giant horizon backs and um, it's great. Oh, I mean, there's a lot of ridiculous stuff in that one too. Um, Good stuff. Yep. All the, the yeah. Tolden episodes are some of my favorite. That's their, their home base over there. I really have fun with those and voicing everybody. Even Yay. though I usually can't talk at the end of those ones. <laughs> but, yeah. Uh, yeah. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Had fun. And um, we'll see you next time. Bye. 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 Rock and roll. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. Flick that like button and diddle that bell. (laughs) (laughs) 